Uber is a tech giant. They hold the personal data of 118 million users. They have an annual security budget that rivals the GDP of a small nation. Their internal network is a digital fortress. And the lock on the front door is MFA, multi-factor authentication. Even if you steal a password, you can't get in without the employee's physical device. It is the industry standard. It is mathematically secure. The hacker didn't write a line of code to break the door down. He just rang the doorbell until someone let him in. Meet the attacker, he is an estate-sponsored Russian spy. He's an 18-year-old kid associated with a group called Lapses Dollar. And he didn't start with a complex exploit. He started here. He bought a stolen password for an Uber external contractor. But when he typed it in, he hit a wall. The MFA prompt. Most hackers would give up here. But Lapses Dollar understood something about the human brain that security software misses, fatigue. It's called MFA bombing. The hacker spams the Logan request over and over, for an hour. The contractor isn't scared anymore. They are just annoyed. And then, the coup de grace. The hacker sends a message on WhatsApp. Hi, this is Uber IT support. We see you having login issues. Please accept the notification to resolve this and stop the alerts. It was a lie. A simple, obvious lie. But it offered the one thing the victim wanted most at 2 a.m. Silence. Instantly, the teenager had God mode access. He could see vulnerability reports, source code, financial data. So uh, what does a teenager do when he conquers a billion dollar company? He brags, he told them to their faces. And this is the second human error. He types into the company-wide Slack channel. I announce I am a hacker and Uber has suffered a data breach. The employees thought it was a joke. They reacted with laughing emojis. They thought it was a prank by IT team. It was not until security team saw he was posting screenshots of their private cloud instances that the laughing stopped. Why did this work? It's a psychological principle called habituation. When your brain hears an alarm for the first time, it triggers cortisol fear. But, if that alarm rings 100 times with no consequence, the brain relabels it. It stops being a threat and starts being noise. The hacker didn't hack the phone. He hacked the contractor's dopamine loop. He created a problem which was the noise, and offered a solution, just hit approve. We spend billions on firewalls. We train AI to catch viruses. But as long as a human being is part of the security chain, the system is vulnerable because software can be patched. But human nature, that's a permanent zero-day exploit.